Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I mean, this is Intervlog, and today I come to show you this beautiful airport. <laughs> the name of the airport is Akano Ibiam International Airport, Enugu, Nigeria. As you can see, wow, the airport is newly renovated and um, it is really beautiful. It is amazing. And that is the reason I come to show you how this airport looks like since it has been renovated and the guard cleaned up and everything well not everything there are some works going on inside but um the way it is now even if nothing is done again <laughs> so it is still look nice man it is good now i am going to show you how to get into this terminal so i'm going to show you how to get into this uh, international terminal and you should know that enugu state has two terminals this one is serving for both domestic and uh, international flights but the second terminal is going to serve for only for the international flights so in order for me to get here because i'm going to vlog inside this airport everywhere everywhere inside outside in and out and just just keep on watching and you see what we are going to do right now and for me to do that i'll have to go to map so this is africa as you can see it this is the world map so let's go to nigeria and uh, then we'll get where enugu state is and where the airport is located now we are right in enugu state what you are seeing is enugu state in nigeria if i zoom my map what you are seeing is the Akano Ibiam International Airport, right? Now, this is the Akano Ibiam International Airport in Enugu State, Nigeria. And what we are seeing here is the runway. And what we are seeing here is a terminal. This terminal is new, completely new. Nobody has ever entered here maybe to book for a flight. This one is not what we come for today. The one we come for today is what we are looking at right now. This one. Okay, but I am also going to show you what is happening in this modern terminal. This one is called International Wing. Why this one is called Domestic and International Terminal. Now, but they are both serving for international flights anyway because this one has not been finished this one looks like abuja airport port Harcourt airport Kano airport and lagos airport so why this one just is, is an old terminal that is being renovated so most of the pictures you see online come from this one okay there are a few pictures about this one because the inside of this one is empty so and i'm going to show you how it is if we are going to the enugu state international airport we will follow this route this road is called airport road then and take here when you get here there is i would say um, a checkpoint or a toll gate you will that you will have to pay about maybe 200 naira or 300 naira depending on the time and then you go straight now there is one terminal here this is a modern terminal okay and uh, another terminal is here this is the one we are going to today so um the airport we are going to is this one as i told you earlier Akano Ibiam International Airport. This is the renovated airport that we are going to today. So, and you are going to see how beautiful it looks. This is the entrance of the airport. I mean the terminal. But apart from this one, as I told you earlier, there is another terminal. And this terminal is called the International Wing. So this is actually the modern airport I told you about. And, and if you look very well, you would see the name here, Akano Ibiam International Airport Enugu. You could, I think you could only see GU very clearly, but I am coming with a nicer image and show you how beautiful it is and how the writing and everything is there. The inside of the modern terminal is still like this. As I told you earlier that work is still going on there. So as you can see, so there is nothing in particular here. So everything is still, you know, so like that. But uh, we hope that within um, 
some years it will be finished i don't know it. <laughs> and when it is finished i'm coming here to vlog inside and then show you how beautiful this modern terminal looks here right so because this looks like lagos airports it just looks like lagos abuja kano or what Harcourt, right because they are the same they are just the same copy some parts of the inside are looking like this like this is the escalator the electric escalator is being fixed but uh, it's still not working anywhere <laughs> this guy you are seeing is one of the engineers in the enugu international airport carry on going so these are also the some of the engineers working in the international terminal the international terminal i mean the modern one the modern one And it is amazing as i showed to you earlier so ongoing now this is the same modern terminal now we could see that enugu very well this is akano ibiam international airports enugu this is it if i zoom very well you would see this is the modern airport and this modern airport i can't wait until this modern airport is finished because there are many people who do not believe that enugu state has two airports <laughs> they don't know that enugu state has two terminals there are a lot of people who do not believe but this time we are also going to show you here the area by the tarmac so the area by the tarmac looks like this right as you see grasses are growing there but no problem when they come back again to you know to finish the job you know so they will cut the grasses and everything will be completely done the way it's supposed to be done but today this is how it looks as you can see this is a, a crane here you know show that people are still working there and the tarmac is very wide and very okay right so let's continue going <laughs> we are here to show you what is happening here on this one we are not to show you what is happening on the other one although we'll still talk a little bit but our target is to show you how the renovated terminal actually looks how is it looking like presently right and this is the entrance like if you come down from the plane and uh, getting into the arrival of the domestic arrival as you can see arrival domestic in Enugu international terminal right so this is how it looks now our journey will begin on how to get into this airport now we are going to show you how to get into the airport if you remember earlier i told you that there is a plane in the roundabout and that is what we are going to see in the next image and that is what it is now in the roundabout there is an airplane and that airplane is located very very close to the main modern terminal that is still not yet finished but as we are going to the renovated terminal you will surely pass here because that is the only way that will take you to the renovated terminal and that is what i told you about before this is Akanu Ibiam International Airport, Enugu. You can see Enugu much better now. E N U G U. That is Enugu. So that is the roundabout. And then my next image is also the roundabout from the other angle. So when you reach this roundabout, then you go around the roundabout. You will go around the roundabout and take this way and from this way what you are going to see is what we are looking at right now so on the this is the toll gate i told you about and the toll gate is written akano ibiam international airport meaning that anybody who is going to akano ibiam international airport must surely pass through here and pay fee you will pay fee you know so not so much expensive about 200 or 300 and if you get here you see cars queued online you know waiting for the payment <laughs> so this is the entrance of the Akanubiam International Airport presently this is how it looks today this is exactly how it looks and when you get to the airport after you pay here right you pack your vehicle here and then from then 
you will be trekking into the airport <laughs> and the car park is not bad at all it's not bad at all so when you get your car parked so then you face the terminal this is the image i have showed to you before you face it this way and from then you come down and uh, you will be going to the international airport so this is the akano ibiam international airport the new terminal i mean the renovated terminal now the renovated terminal and the modern uh, terminal they look pretty much the same and at night this is how it looks wow this is really beautiful and i like what i'm seeing in enugu international terminal i mean the renovated terminal people who renovated this terminal they imitated the modern terminal because this time they look pretty much the same because if you look at this image it just looks like the roof of the modern terminal they look the same and this is amazing this is amazing before this letter or these letters were placed on top here now it is placed on the terminal which is very nice it is placed on the terminal which is very nice okay so let's go so on getting inside the airport when you get inside the airport this is how the airport looks inside and oh my god it's nice very very beautiful you get into the airport this is where people wait for their flight and so on and so forth and uh, here is where you go for your ticketing domestic ticketing this is ibom air here is where you pass security check so you have to put put your bag here and then your bag will will be received at the the other end sometimes it's done manually like this police woman is searching the bags and people are here and later on you will have to pass through this door so it is actually on this door that you hear pe -pe -pe. <laughs> it's here that if you have any metal like beds and all those things you hear pe -pe 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 -pe. you have to remove it before you will be able to cross here so let's go so here is also you see foreigners here they, i think these people are chinese you know so maybe they are checking the time of their flight and uh, so this is the same ibom a that i showed you earlier so these are people that are enjoying the terminal and they are taking pictures <laughs> here as you see the workers they organize one place and they are having meeting they are having meeting i think maybe the meeting is that uh, the international flight is going to resume because the news came two weeks ago as we can see them oh my goodness so the airport is nice the airport is very nice and know it that this is not the only terminal in ubu has in the other terminal work is still going on there and this one is oh my god it's it's cool it's cool it's amazing now this is the uh, like uh, the service where you go you wash your hand and uh, the toilet i would say you know so this is how it is and um, it is also nice and people left enugu state or the airport people laughed at the airport when it was um, launched because it was launched before the work was completely done and the state government really did a nice job so this is how the toilet is looking like these days which is not bad <laughs> okay so and it is completely new if you check you see that um, this toilet still has waterproof it is still covered by waterproof and uh, there is no demarcation here you know so but some are being demarcated not all of them i think one is being demarcated just for emergency use if you are waiting for your flight you sit here as i told you earlier it is a big hall the place is very wide now there is something that I want to talk about here because at the end of my video you will see it. You see these houses you see here. Look at this house here and another house there and you see something like water and a garden. This place is called Centenary City. <laughs> this is a new city in Enugu. Almost everybody is buying land here because this place is like, I would say, Banana Island, right? 
this is like banana island in enugu or this is this is the most expensive place to buy land in enugu these days and they are advertising the house here and this place is planned by the government the way this place looks is amazing i'm going to show you more about this particular advertisement you see here on my during the end of the video so if you are watching the video you will see how the area looks it is called centenary city the place is called centenary city so let's go so this is where people are waiting for flight and the place is not bad so what we are seeing or whom you are seeing here are Mohamed Buhari who is the Nigerian president and Enugu state governor <laughs> why buru buru now so this is executive lodge like um, a VIP lodge I would say so if you are rich then you enter here and uh, sit in a better place anyway although the work is still going on there so it is not completely done this is like um, because work is going on there so most of the people who use VIP lodge actually sometimes they stay here this is the uh, I would say the temporary VIP lodge. <laughs> the main one is the one we have just seen, but that one has not been completely finished. But this one is the temporary VIP lodge, right? So if they're having a occasion or meeting or you know, so this is where they organize that, and uh, that is how it is. So the passage of Enugu International Airport is actually uh, like this. And the ceiling is brown. I mean, the inner ceiling, the top ceiling is completely brown this time. But I'm talking about the top ceiling, the top ceiling. The ceiling in the first floor is not brown. So only the top ceiling is brown. It's not looking bad at all. It's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's long. It's long. <laughs> The queue online here and the boarding and everybody is busy checking their documents and so on and so forth. And from here they go to the flight. So my next image is the same people who have who are boarding are now coming out and they're going into the flight. As we proceed, we see where they are going to. <laughs> so actually they are proceeding here. And as I told you earlier. You know, so they are coming into the flight. From here, they get into the airplane. And then, from there, they fly. <laughs> yeah, so, here is where they have already some, you know, are very close to the airplane and some have started getting inside the airplane. You know, why people use the opportunity to exchange uh, a contact you know what is your name what is your facebook name okay i'll find you there okay see you later you know stuff like that you know so that is cool right so this is a piece and they are boarding into the a to a piece now this what i see here is amazing because these are pilots you know so these are pilot, but this guy, if this man is a pilot, I will come down from plane and walk out and go my way. <laughs> so this guy is a comedian, you know, he's an actor. But these people are pilots. And uh, you know, so they look, yeah, they are pilots, nice pilot. You know, in the plane they have two pilots, but I don't know what this guy is doing here. And this one looks like Wazurike. <laughs> He looks like Wazurike. Is Wazurike a pilot? I come to the United Nigeria. This airline, as you can see, United Nigeria airline. This is an airline in Nigeria. And this airline is owned by this man we are seeing here. And Enugu State is his base. What does that mean? So he chose Enugu State as his base, not Lagos, not Abuja, you know, so, and he is from Anambra State. So this is how he is happy and, you know, so this is the time he was launching his flight because this is a new airline in Nigeria and he, the new airline has chosen Enugu State as its base, you know, so which is nice. As we go proceed, this are uh, his flight. United Nigeria. Many, many flights. <laughs> you see, this is United Nigeria 
a line, right? In Enugu State. As I continue going, so this place is actually the runway. So Enugu State is, um, I mean, Enugu Airport now has um, night landing, like, uh, you know, this is the light. At night, any flight can land in Enugu State, which is very good, which is very, very good. So, but during the day, this is how it looks, and it is nice. Oh, my God. So, I like what I'm seeing, and Enugu State is very beautiful. Some of the passengers who use airport, this airport may not come from Enugu City. So, if you are not from Enugu City, don't worry. <laughs> So we have a solution to that, and that solution is hotel. So I come with the beautiful hotels to show you how beautiful Enugu State uh, hotels looks like, and I believe you are going to like them. So let's go and see beautiful hotels in Enugu State. Now, I selected two hotels here because they are marvelously beautiful, but there are other beautiful hotels in Enugu State too. And my first hotel that I think you would choose. <laughs> there are many, believe me. I just choose the new hotels and the modern hotels, but there are many more other modern hotels. One is Addict Suit. This Addict Suit is complete, is beautiful, believe me. I like Addict Suit because it's modern, beautiful. The inside also is okay, and the rooms are nice, as you can see. Wow, this is, this is a nice hotel. Yeah. Anywhere you go in Enugu State, you see hotels. See the swimming pool, see the, oh my goodness, every, so the place is really beautiful. So this is where to go and sleep. Oh my goodness, here is where you can do your business. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next hotel, Auckland Hotel, Auckland Hotel. This is how the building looks. I know it that Auckland Hotel has something like park, like if you have children, they can go there and play. And let's see how it looks. Oh my goodness, see the swimming pool of Auckland Hotel, how it is, and uh, the bed, whoa, this is amazing, this is beautiful, see light here, nice light, oh my goodness, Auckland Hotel is really beautiful, so this is the name, Auckland Hotel, and the, to see it clearly, this is how it looks, this is how it is. That is the hotel, Auckland Hotel in Ubu. So the next place I will show you is the Centenary City I told you about. The Centenary Gate is what you are seeing here. This is the Centenary Gate. And when you get to the Centenary Gate, you will pass this gate. Know it that this gate is, a, is like a tall house, very tall. This is actually the Centenary Gate I told you about. So this is the entrance of the Centenary City. So for you to enter Centenary City, you must pass this gate. And uh, you see something like toll gate here. So there is a control here. You can't just visit them anyhow. <laughs> and that is the reason everybody is interested in Centenary City because of the security. So the security there is amazing. And uh, oh my goodness, the type of houses here is, oh my God, marvelously beautiful. See houses going on over there and uh, all the houses are looking modern. See dock here? Wow. What we are seeing is not a plastic dock. This is how the place looks. As you can see, houses over there. The Centenary City is a very beautiful place indeed. It is a very beautiful place indeed. It is a very beautiful place indeed. For someone who wants to live in Ibo land, oh my God, this place is like Banana Island. Believe me, that is exactly what it is. I brought information because if you have not known anything about Centenary City, then uh, this is, will be your opportunity and then you will check okay and see whether you know so you would like what they have there right and the place is amazing this is the centenary city seeing it from the above so this is how the area looks oh my goodness the place is really beautiful centenary city enugu state 
Centenary City. This is a town of its own. So know it that it is a new place. Not much people live there. Not much people live there. Works are still going on and they are tiling some areas and some entrance and uh, you know so believe me that place is is cool is is one of the best places in Enugu right now so if you have the opportunity grab it yeah. <laughs> and uh, that is how it looks well um I come here just to show you uh, what they have in in the centenary city right so but my main purpose today is not for the central city so my major purpose is to show you about this international airport that is being um, launched and the airport is really amazing so this is the Akano Ayibiam International Airport as you can see and the airport is really amazing so this is the Akano Ayibiam International Airport and that is the reason I'm here today so and I know you like what you see <laughs> I just uh, brought you the centenary city and so on and so forth to show you uh, in case if you are planning to live very close to the airport. <laughs> so this is the modern airport that is still not yet finished. But at least we have one that is being finished, right? So this is the modern one and this is the inside. So the major purpose is for me to show you all these things that are going on in Enugu State and also to show you about the centenary city and what is going on over there so thank you very much for watching and know it that you've been watching intervlog